This is a video for the correct use of personal protective equipment for a Scenario 1 clinical area. On this ward, scrubs, face masks, eye protection, hair protection, apron and gloves have to be worn at all times. Apron and gloves will be changed after each patient's contact by doffing inside the isolation room or bay and donning outside the isolation room or bay. Before entering the ward, hand hygiene is essential with alcohol gel or soap and water. All equipment must be put on inside a designated donning area. On exiting the ward, all equipment must be taken off inside a designated doffing area. When leaving a ward area, you will need to have changed out of scrubs and into your usual clothes. Potentially contaminated scrubs must not be worn outside of Scenario 1 areas. Please complete the following in the designated donning area. Step 1. Change into scrubs before entering the designated donning area. Hand hygiene is essential with alcohol gel or soap and water. Step 2. Put on a fluid resistant surgical face mask, ensuring it is closely fitting and fully covers the nose and mouth. First position the upper straps on the crown of your head above the ears and the lower strap at the nape. Ensure the mask is flat against your cheeks. With both hands, mould the nose piece from the bridge of the nose firmly by pressing down on both sides of the nose until you have a good facial fit. Step 3. Place either a face shield or goggles on to protect your eyes. Step 4. Put on hair protection such as a theatre cap. Step 5. Don a plastic apron. Snapping the neck loop allows for the neck to be covered. Step 6. Put on gloves. Before entering an isolation bay or room, please ensure that you have reviewed all the relevant clinical records for each patient in the bay, as you will not be able to take any documentation, patient lists or computer equipment into the bay. Please ensure a safe distance is kept from the patient's face at all times. The end of the bed is a good measure of the appropriate distance. Ensure you have had any equipment you require to hand or located in the bay and that a regular cleaning schedule is in force. Treat any equipment as contaminated unless you personally have witnessed it being cleaned appropriately. Do not spend more time than is necessary in the high risk zone equivalent to one metre from the patient's face. Ensure the patient is looking away from you at all times if you are within one metre of their face. Following patient contact. After each patient examination or care, whilst inside an isolation area, remove gloves and use alcohol gel to decontaminate your hands or wash hands up to the elbows if there has been skin contact. Remove the apron and perform hand hygiene. Move outside of the isolation area and perform hand hygiene. Don a new apron. To avoid cross-contamination from mask and goggles, break the neck strap and retie it. Put on a new pair of gloves. Repeat these steps after each patient encounter within a bay. When all patients have been seen, please ensure you don a new set of apron and gloves. Apron and gloves are to be worn at all times whilst inside a Scenario 1 clinical area. A clean set of gloves and aprons have to be put on every time you leave the isolation room or bay. Leaving the Scenario 1 clinical area. Please complete the following in the designated doffing area. Step 1. Once you are ready to leave a Scenario 1 ward or clinical area, remove gloves and perform hand hygiene. Note the technique for removing your gloves. Remove apron and alcohol gel. Remove hair protection, for example your theatre cap, by pulling backwards. Then alcohol gel your hands. Remove your eye protection. Remember, outside of the goggles or face shield are contaminated and should not be touched. Remove your surgical face mask. Wash your hands with soap and water or use alcohol gel sanitizer. If no clean assistant was available at stage 4, put on gloves and clean eye protection for 60 seconds. Eye protection can additionally then be washed with soap and water if residue is present. Exit the containment ward and perform hand hygiene for a final time. 